and gentlemen, welcome to the Charleston class. My name is Milo Seidel, I'm an instructor, dance instructor at Danceport New York City and today I would like to share with you the Charleston class. So, we're gonna divide the class into several parts. We're gonna do a little warm-up at the beginning, then I will explain you about the body and the leg action and towards the end of the class, we're gonna learn the basic Charleston step. So, are you ready? Tan -tan -tan -tan. All right, let's get started. First of all, I would like to explain you a little bit about the posture. We want to keep our weight over the balls of our feet with our knees slightly flexed, slightly bent, so you are in this stable, athletic position. It gives you a really good balance and this is the key. This is what it, this is all about. We want to keep our body nice and balanced. So for this little exercise and for the warm up, as I said, we're gonna start with a little warm up because it's always good to warm up. We're gonna circle our leg. I mean our foot mostly, keeping the balance on one foot. Also keep the balance over the balls of your foot don't sing really bad yeah we want to keep our body over the ball of our foot and as we are switching the direction of the circles you can also circle the leg from your knee and the other direction shake your leg and try on the other side circle the ankle one direction and then switch once you feel that the angle is warming up, you can switch the other direction. And the same thing, you warm up your knee. And you go the other direction as well. You can roll your shoulder a little bit and do other warm-up exercises. But I would like to keep it a little bit short today. As we know, the posture is over the balls of your feet, you feel comfortable. We gonna talk about the balance. So, I would like to explain you that I'm gonna teach you the Charleston basic throughout the layers. So first, we gonna talk about the balance. Then we gonna talk about the swiveling action and then I'll teach you the basic pattern. So the Charleston basic looks something like this. This is what we're gonna learn today and also a little bit more towards the end of the lesson. We're gonna do variations on the Charleston basic. So the first layer, what I want to talk about is the bounce. This is the body action that we want to keep throughout the whole dance because it gives us the energy, it gives us the rhythm that the music provides for us and this is how we connect to the music. So we want to keep this bounce throughout the whole dance. The music, the Charleston music is pretty fast. It's around 200 BPM, so the bounce is very subtle. We cannot really bounce too much because we won't be able to make it with the rhythm of the music. So the bounce is very subtle. So maybe you, you might not even see it on the camera, but you definitely want to feel it. And as you bounce, you bounce every single beat. And the bounce are pretty much equal. So every bounce is the same. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. As you do the bounce, you can also practice a little bit of walking. The walk happens in the slow rhythm, like two beats on each step. One, two, 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 slow, 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 slow. But the bounce is happening every single beat. One, one, two, 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 two, one, two, one, two, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, whatever count you want to use. But every single beat you bounce a little bit down and a little bit up. 
So the when the beat hits, it's the one 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 one. If the bounce goes slightly down, one two three four, one two three four, one pom 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 pom, like the bass in the music. Boom 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 boom. So this is the first thing that we want to think about is the bounce. Once you get the bounce done and you can practice with several tempos. Actually this is a good idea. Let's try this to the music. So we're gonna hit the first very slow tempo so that yeah let's listen to the music first and here it comes this is how the bounce works because this is slow tempo we can bounce nicely up and down once the music gets faster the bounce is going to be smaller and smaller yes so this is how it works with the music. So let's talk about the second big thing that I want to um, break down for you and is the swiveling action. This is the shuffling, swiveling, pivoting or twisting action. So this is how it works. We are turning our heels out and in like so. So this comes from the idea that my feet are underneath my shoulders because I'm nicely standing over the balls of my feet with my feet slightly apart because if I have my feet too close I cannot put my heels together because they are already together so I need to keep my feet a little bit apart so when I am twisting my feet the heels can go in and out nicely and this maybe takes a little bit of practice because we need to develop the muscles that are guiding this move so you want to spend some time with just twisting your feet in and out like this yeah. once you feel comfortable with twisting your feet you can start transferring weight from one side and the other side like so and you spend some twists on one side and few other twists on the other side once I feel comfortable with this twisting motion I can start picking up the foot a little bit of the floor while I am still maintaining twisting both feet so if I am picking up the foot from the floor I'm gonna be in this position that my knees are inward and my heels are outside yeah if I keep the feet on the floor in this position it's like the skiing position when I'm going down the hill and I'm keeping my skis in the V shape yeah so I don't get too fast so this is the position with my knees inside and my heels out and this is the position the same one is when one or the other foot is in the air so as I'm twisting my knees oh sorry I'm now twisting my feet and slightly I'm twisting my knees as well I want to twist both of my feet not only the one that is coming up and down like this yeah, this is what we don't want to do because now I'm twisting only the free foot and the supporting leg is not doing anything. So we want to, at the same time, we want to always keep both feet working like this. Yeah, and now we're going to put a little pattern on this. Since we know how to twist our feet, then you can always... You know rewind the video if you need to spend a little bit more time on this uh, twisting exercise or you come back to it some other time maybe a few days later once you feel comfortable with this little action so 
we're gonna put a pattern on this and we're gonna twist eight beads on each foot so we're gonna start with a little preparation and then the one is gonna be when our knees are together yeah because this is a very important thing we want to understand how it works with the counts and the music so when I put my heels together this is one when I go out is two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight so let's try this with music actually because it's a good practice to do it with the music and I'm gonna play something slightly a little bit faster <laughs> Keep our feet on the floor for now, and we're gonna go six and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. So on the odd numbers, my heels are together, and on the even numbers, my heels are out and my knees are together. And five, six, and here we go. And one, three, four, five, six, seven. One, three, four, five, six, seven. One, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. One, two, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Out. Yeah, so it goes out on the even numbers. It goes in on the odd numbers. So now when we know how it works with the counts, we can put a little pattern in this exercise and eight beats on each foot. So I'm gonna start with a little preparation on eight. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm switching our feet on seven. Let's try it from this angle. I'm going to start with a preparation on eight. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, switch. And one, two, three, five, six, switch. And one, two, three, four, five, six, switch. And one, two, three, five, six, switch. And one, two, three, five, six, switch. And one, two, three, four, five, six, switch. Yes. Now, we're going to cut it in half. We're going to do only four counts on each foot. And we are going now closer to our basic already. So we're going to do four counts on each foot, starting with a preparation. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, three, four, five, six, seven. So the switch is happening on three, three or seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Yes. Let's try it one more time, and this time we're gonna do it with the music. Five, six, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, one, two, three, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One. Five, seven, one, and three, five, seven. Perfecto, and this is how it works. So we are getting close to our basic. So, first of all, I talk about the bounce. Well, think about it as layers. When we practice our turning in and out, you don't have to think about the bounce for now. Yeah, later on we want to put all these layers together. But when you practice one layer, you don't have to think about the other one. Yeah, because this practicing one thing is important to feel comfortable with the one thing. And then we put everything together. So we talked about the bounce, we talk about the swiveling action with your feet. Let's talk about the pattern now. So the basic Charleston step is going 
forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. So we are switching always, right foot goes forward, then I do a small step behind and then I go with my left foot back and then I do a small step forward. So I go forward and I step back, I tap and I step forward, I tap and I step, tap and step. Tap and step, tap and step, tap and step, tap and step. I'm not thinking about turning my feet now. I'm not thinking about my bounce. I'm just focusing on the pattern. So the pattern goes with your left foot back and your right foot forward. And it repeats and over, over again. That's why it is in pattern. Since we are talking about the pattern of our feet let's also talk about the pattern of our hands so the hands are switching from one side to the other so the hands has only two positions it's position number one position number two and we are switching every two counts one two one two one two one two one two one two we are switching this position regardless what the feet are doing yeah? it works nicely together so it always goes in the opposition when my right foot is forward, my left hand is forward. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Switch and switch and switch and switch, switch and switch and switch and switch. And the hands can be very small and easy, and it can be more dramatic and do a little bit more. But this is not what we want to cover in this lesson. So we're going to keep the hands nice and easy, just like that. One and two, one and two. This is the pattern. Let's put the bounce into a pattern. So now as I'm doing the forward and back, I'm also going to bounce my body every single beat. This, yeah, the bounce is very steady and settled every single beat I bounce and finally I'm gonna put everything together I'm gonna use my pivoting twisting shuffling action with my feet I'm gonna keep the bounce in my body and I'm gonna do the pattern as we just learned forward and back so I'm gonna stay with profile to the camera and I'm gonna demonstrate how it works everything together we got and together with our hands as well so we are twisting our feet, we are doing the pattern forward and back, and we keep also our steady bounce, yeah, that I'm trying to exaggerate a little bit now, but I have to be careful of my neighbors as well, so I cannot jump really too much. But we don't want to really jump too much, we want to keep the bounce nice and settled because the music is very fast. So one more time. I'm going to start with my right foot forward, I'm twisting and I'm bouncing and I'm keeping the pattern at the same time. Also what might help you with this pivoting and twisting action is that every time I do a touch or I do a step, I always keep my feet like a turn out. So that means that the heels are in and the toes are turned out. Yeah? So if you look at it from behind, every time I put my feet, foot on the floor, I'm in this turnout position. And then when I'm in the air, I am in this inside. My knees are inside position. And then I, sorry, I lose my balance a little bit. So I keep this turnout position again. And then I go in the inward position and I turn my feet out again. Yeah, so the heels are in and the toes are outside. So every time I either tap or I step, I'm always keeping the little turnout in my feet. Yeah, and it happens always on the odd numbers in the music, like one, two, three. Five, seven, one, three, five, seven, one, three, five, seven. 
nicely done. Let's now talk a little bit about the elements in the basic. In the, I already mentioned that we are doing touch and step, but we can also multiply these elements several times and create a different pattern. So let's, for example, do the touch several times. So we're gonna do three touches forward. We go one, ba, ba, and then we step. One touch, second touch, third touch, step. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If we combine it with a basic, we're gonna have a really nice pattern that goes like this. Basic, one, two, three, five, six, seven touches. Hop. Boom, now we go to basic, starting backwards, and we're gonna do the touches also backwards. Let's do it one more time. We got a basic, and we got touches forward. <laughs> we got basic, and we got touches backwards. Yeah, you can also practice this pattern without the bounce and without the twisting action, which looks like this. Tap, step, tap, step, tap, 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 step, tap, step, tap. Step, tap, step, tap, 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 step. Yeah. But of course it's more fun to do it with the bounce and the twisting. But sometimes it's fun to do it also without these bouncing and twisting action. That's why I wanted to break it down into the layers so we have more things to play with. Alright, so we multiply the touches several times. What if we multiply the steps several times? We're gonna create a different pattern this time. So we're gonna start with the basic, we got basic, and now we're gonna walk, walk, and finish with basic. We basic, huh? Shoot, and we're gonna go back. And we start again, we got basic. Now we're gonna walk, walk, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, 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 touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step. I can say walk, Walk, tap, step, touch, step, touch, step, and we walk, walk, tap, step. So now we, instead of doing the touches several times, we are doing the steps several times. And you can create any pattern that you actually want with this little logic that you multiply something several times and then you go into the basic. So why don't we try towards the end of the lesson, this is the grand finale of our little lesson, we're gonna try these two little patterns back and forth. So I'm gonna start with basic. Huh? I'm gonna do the touch pattern. pattern huh? I'm gonna do basic backwards and I do three touches. Now I do again basic. I'm gonna walk forward and I'm gonna do the basic backwards. I'm gonna walk back. So now, the fun part about the walking is that I can drop the bounce and then come back into the bounce when I do the basic again. And it creates a nice change in my dancing because it is like switching the mood of the dance. Or I can just keep my bounce while I'm doing the walk, but I am not gonna twist my feet and I'm gonna twist my feet when I get back to the basics. So you have endless uh, variations that you can create. Let's try this combination with the music. Give me a second. And here we go. We're gonna try to... Here we go. And touch, up, down. And three touches. We got basic backwards. Three touches. And we got basic again. We walk. Walk, walk, step, step. We got basic. And we walk back. And one more time. Here we go. Touch it. Yeah, pa, 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 pa. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I'll see you again on the dance floor.